Hey everyone, this is Rachel and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. If you hang out until after the video is through, there are always detailed shots of my current layout. Let's get going! Hey everyone, I am back with another pre-taped introduction for a layout I made at the crop I went to back at the end of March. This particular layout is made with my Secret Not Secret kit that I purchased right before I went to my crop. It is filled with lovely, lovely stuff, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started. So this is going to be the first time I'm using my Secret Not Secret Kit Club. So I've got a lot of papers to go through and I do decide to start off with this one from Simple Stories. I am going to remember to show you what they're all called. So I'm very proud of myself with that. I'm going to use uh, several different pattern papers. Uh, the ones I have on the top here, not that gray one with the words, but just some of the other ones that I had on the top. I have a couple under consideration. I was thinking about using that gray one as more of an embellishment piece, but I don't end up using it. I am going to use this dark blue with the light blue plus signs along with this light yellow and white geometric pattern. And here's where I remember to show you all of the different papers I am using. I'm just going to run through them all in a row. So hopefully you can read it. If you can't, just let me know and I'll let you know in the description box or in the comment section below. So this particular layout, as with the majority of layouts I made during the crop, if it was not a single photo layout, I pre-did a sketch or I used a sketch for this, for the layout. So this particular one, I just made my own sketch. I use Windows Publisher. It is a basic sketch. It is not fancy in any way, shape or form. So I'm going ahead and using this caper paper, which is fun to say, and I'm going to uh, have that at the top and the bottom of my layout. So I'm cutting it in half because I'm going to do the thing where you pretend it's a full length page uh, piece of paper, but it is not. <laughs> so then I'm going to layer these other two pieces of paper over them and I'm just trimming them down so they're not the same size because one thing is you want to create interest and by you can do that by having different angles and different edges rather than having everything line up. So I'm going to go ahead and ink all of my pages up because my photos are taken in either the lobby or inside a movie theater. They're very dark. So by inking the edges up of all of my photos, I feel it kind of brings everything together. So this particular layout is one of those where the photos aren't necessarily indicative of what the story is. Now, in essence, we went to the movies. And so I'm, you know, the photos show us going to the movies. But the story behind it is actually more personal. So for those of you who don't know, my nephew is transgender. Now I do not need any comments on whether or not you believe that is okay. Uh, you can feel free to unsubscribe from me. I'm totally okay with that. Uh, it's just the way it is and that's all we're gonna say about it. The second is that this particular movie, uh, Love, Simon, is just your typical teenage rom-com except that the main character is gay. So my journaling and the story I really wanted to tell was the importance of seeing yourself in pop culture and in TV and music and movies and stuff like that. And seeing that reflection of yourself and telling your portion of the story. So for those in the LGB QTA, I always get the number uh, the letters mixed up. Anyways, for those in, in that, uh, group of people, it's important to see their stories in mainstream media. And so that's what my journaling really was about, even though my photos are just of us going to see a movie. So anyway, sorry for the diatribe. Um, <laughs> I am looking at this piece of paper, seeing if it will work. There's lots of uplifting phrases on this particular one from Pink Fresh, but nothing is going to really work out in what I'm planning on. So instead, what I choose are some ephemera pieces. This one says, different is beautiful. And these are all from the Let Your Heart Decide package that came in my kit. I'm also going to choose this calendar one. I do know when we went and saw it. I just couldn't remember the date off the top of my head. So I will fill that in uh, 
once I, well, what it was is I was taping with my camera, so I couldn't look it up at the time. So I need to, of course, do that before I put it away. I do grab this little phrase. I think it says something about special moments or something like that. I don't remember. and I cannot see it on my preview screen. So I am doing a layout where there is one embellishment block. So there isn't going to be anything outside of uh, above the different is beautiful and below where the journaling is other than my title, which is called hope and dream. So this is the thing where the title Hope and Dream doesn't necessarily go with, oh, we went to the movies, whereas it does go with my journaling talking about, you know, how it was great to see. Uh, I went actually uh, to a special preview of the movie. A lot of the uh, GSAs, which are the Gay Straight Alliance, um, they run throughout the high schools in the U.S., and uh, they released uh, preview seats for those groups and so I went and like it was me like maybe seven other adults and then 150 teenagers so it got a little loud in the movie theater that night okay I keep spazzing on different things all right so I am adding some embellishments with the epoxy heart right by navy heart outline which is from the Chamel Hope and sorry, the Chamel box of crayons that the Hope and Dream title piece also came from. I'm going to finish this layout up with some Heidi Swap color shine in navy, and that is going to be the end of my layout. Sorry for the ranting on and on, and I hope you have a lovely day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.